everyone and welcome to today's Drama Hospital Recap. As always, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of our videos or recap. Hi, recaps. Hi, Ika. Where are you? There you are. Hello, Ika. <laughs> I know there was no Ika yesterday. She, she was, she was over there. She just wasn't in the mood. But let's get right to it. Real fast, I lost from 327 to 340. Uh, so from Curtis showing Nina the bad lip fillers to Jordan getting a page about the arraignment. Uh, so that I do not have. The a crane apparently fell onto the Tappan Zee Bridge and Cuomo uh, made a statement about it. So if anyone can uh, recalls or like what happened, because there's a few things, um, I can infer what happened, but I don't know for sure. So if anyone can tell me what happened, it would mean a lot. And I can even include it in tomorrow's uh, recap, although probably everyone else saw because unless you're like in the tri-state area nobody you know you're not gonna see that a crane fell on the Tappan Zee Bridge it's not breaking news for you um all right let's get right to it <laughs> at the hospital Griffin thinks Julian's fine to be cleared into police custody and go to his arraignment and he leaves the room and someone from Julian's organization comes in and thinks that Julian's getting out uh, okay, so a plan is hatched off screen and all Julian cares about is staying out of prison. Good old Julian. Wouldn't expect anything less. So Griffin tells Valerie that Julian can be released. Uh, Julian's employee leaves and Griffin comes in with the test results. And this, I lost something because when we came back to it, Julian seems to have passed out or something. It uh, turns out he had an, a heart episode. Uh, not quite a heart attack, but, you know, not good when it's called a heart episode. Uh, so it could be something far more serious and they don't know what caused it. The test didn't show anything so Julian's not out of danger yet and more tests need to be run. Julian cannot be released. At the Metro Court, Jordan thanks Curtis for talking to TJ. Curtis now thinks that Jordan should forgive him and she's like, yeah, cool, let's let's just keep it a thanks right now. I'll, I'll definitely put that into the consideration box though. Uh, so she says that she and TJ are visiting Sean in Pettenville and Andre comes in and is like, what? So Jordan tells Andre TJ knows Sean is really his father, the conversation that ensued. And Andre seems mad she didn't tell him, but like, really wasn't his business. I mean, just because you're dating someone, and I know they've been dating for like a, a quite a while now, but are, have they made anything official? Are they even exclusive? Well, I guess they're exclusive, but like, have they put a label on what they're, they are? Like, why is it any of his business that something like so personal to her and her son? Like, I'm sorry, if TJ doesn't even know who his real father is, then why should Andre know who TJ's real father is? So, he feels that she should have come to him for support. Um, but she's like, I, I got this on my own. <laughs> like, she, I, I didn't need support. And he wanted to be included. But again, like, not your business. Uh, so uh, she gets a, um, something, more tension, I'm sure, happened. Lost that part. Uh, she gets a page. It's about Julian's arraignment. And... So, yeah, something super tense happened. Missed it. Uh, Nina, also at the Metro Court, Nina and Curtis are having a dinner meeting, and Nina is calling off the Claudette investigation. So even though Nina wants to know everything about Claudette, uh, Nathan doesn't want her to have her investigated, so uh, she's calling it off. And uh, Nina asks how his plastic surgeon investigation is going. He got a good lead on illegal lip fillers, or fillers, I was assuming, lip, but you really can fill quite anything on your face. I know it looks like I have some kind of like, this is Vaseline. I, I just, chapstick, Vaseline, seriously, that's all it is. I had chap lips today. And I, I have this stuff on my nails to stop me from biting my nails and it's working really good. But I kind of like had my mouth, like my, yeah. So I got all like the gross stuff that like it makes it taste bitter on my lips. But my lips like taste really bad. So I put Vaseline so I wouldn't like be tempted to lick my lips. That's a lot of stuff you don't need to know. I've had these on for like a week and a half and it's just, ugh. You know, it's, it's rough breaking a habit that you've had for 24 years. Uh, so, okay, so this is where the breaking news started. Um, and then Valerie comes in, and her and Curtis are super PDA in front of Nina. And, like, I personally really have nothing against PDA. I mean, it, I mean, of course there's, like, a limit. And I feel like Curtis and Valerie were just, like, way over the limit. Like, if there was a line, they can't even see the line anymore, to quote Jordan Tribi uh, jo Joey Tribbiani. I, I can't talk today. Uh, so, 
she's like, all right, bye guys, you you go get a room. And uh, Nina now is eating alone. And you know, wait till I totally just did your Curtis. Um, at Alexis's, no longer Drew Alexis's, sad face. Is it really a sad face though? Is it? Uh, there's a knock at the door. Uh, Diane, is, it's Diane. Uh, she tells Alexis it's time to go to Julian's arraignment. Her, uh, Alexis' mind is obviously somewhere else. And Diane sees the test and asks if she's pregnant. Uh, so the test is negative. Uh, Diane, if she's okay, she's like, no, but I'm happy I'm not pregnant with Julian's baby. <laughs> so Alexis is disgusted with herself. And, I mean, I, I, I don't know. I feel like she's, she's being a little... A little hard on herself. I mean, what's done is done. You could, you need to put, you know, I don't know. She doesn't need to beat herself up so much. There's a lot more people to beat up right now. She can get to herself after they're all beat up, you know? Uh, so she, Alexis says she doesn't have feelings for Julian because apparently a little bit of conversation must have happened there too. Um, uh, she gets a call. The commissioner wants to see her before the arraignment, so they head off together. At the commissioner's office, Alexis, Diane, and Jordan meet. Diane makes sure Diane makes sure that the affidavit from the PCPD will be made to ensure Alexis faces faces no future trouble and is acknowledged that she risked her life to help bring Julian down. And there's a phone call for Jordan. And there seems to be a problem. On Cassadine Island, Valentine Cassadine, Nicholas's uncle. And I, someone brought up Valentine like a week or so ago in the comments. I have to go back and find that. Because good on you. You figured it out. Um, and so it's been suggested that he could be Nathan's father. Um, and I ran the numbers, because I, I know in soap opera world, the numbers and ages, like, they don't really matter, especially when it comes to, like, the, because they don't really, like, age people on the show, but, like, I use their real life ages to kind of gauge around what they are, because I'm, I'm a number age person. I'm not a number person for anything else, but when it comes to people's ages and stuff, I, I'm very into it. So, um, I ran the numbers, and, um, age-wise, it actually works. Um, so, Valentine roughly at minimum would have been around 17 and Obrecht would have been around 27. They're only 10 years apart in real life. So, you know, play with those numbers a bit. They could be a bit closer in the show. Um, but it works with Nathan's age. It's a possibility. It's not like they're only 10 years apart. Like there's enough room there for, for it to be possible. So just in case you were wondering or wanted to know, I it's I think Valentine being Nathan's father could be a distinct possibility, especially since he made it clear Victor wasn't his father, but there was something very, um, you know, questionable going on there. So anyway, so um, he's disappointed. He only got a brief mention in the Cassadine book, and it wasn't exactly a very glowing mention. It was one of those, like, um, dotted, not dotted lines, but, like, crossed out lines on the family tree to, like, show someone's illegitimate, and I'm like, that's mean, like, it's not his fault that he's illegitimate, you know, um, so he grew up in squalor while Nicholas grew up in luxury, and he wants it all, so he wants Nicholas to sign over the complete Cassadine estate, should have asked, like, a year and a half ago, because there would have been a lot more Valentine, uh, so every bit of it, and Nicholas lays out the facts, he says he's happy to work something out with him being included in the Cassadine fortune, but he's not signing everything over, so Valentine's like, alright, do whatever you want, but you know, I'm gonna shoot everyone until you sign it over. Hashtag start with Ava and hashtag he does. But he doesn't shoot her, he just kinda has her at gunpoint. Uh, so Nicholas, Nicholas is like, fine, I'll sign the papers. Uh, so Nicholas and Ava are brought upstairs and Ava tries to talk him out of signing the papers. Again, what what concern is it of hers, really? She, she has nothing to gain and nothing to lose in this whole thing. If I were Ava right now, I would just be standing there like, I don't care. I just want to get out of here alive and not be shot. Do whatever you need to do to make that happen. So Nicholas wants everyone released first and Valentine is like, haha, no. Uh, so Nicholas decides it's easier to sign than lose everyone he loves and he signs the papers and now Valentine wants to tie up loose ends and it's kind of what Ava said. Like, hey, as soon as you sign, he's going to have no use for you, me, or anyone else on this island. So, you know, uh, so I gotta give her credit where credit's due, cause she did kinda, you know, warn him about that possibility of what's actually happening. So, Valentine goes to shoot Ava and Nicholas charges at him. Uh, so downstairs, everyone is worried. Uh, Kevin is glad he came along though. Good old venture Kevin. I like Kevin. Uh, so he says Valentine seems sane, which makes him more dangerous. And they're trying to find a way to escape and Laura thinks she knows a way. So Laura tells them about the tunnels uh, through the wine cellar. You'll make a wrong turn and you'll wind up in the laboratory compound. 
my god, is this Dr. Moreau's Island or Cassidine Island? I never read that book. Uh, so Laura gives them the schematics of how to get out, and it's very complicated, and they're all repeating it to each other, and I was like, I drove to a farm store today, and I made a wrong turn coming out of my house. So... I would be lost on Cassidy Island. I would have to be the distraction and not the person going. Um, anyway, so, <laughs> uh, end scene. I know, already, it's because we lost 10 minutes of the show. So, Andre is calling to check on somebody, hashtag it's probably Anna, which I'm still not on board with, by the way. Uh, Jordan tells Diane and Alexis about the arraignment and how it's postponed because Julian's taking a turn for the worst. I think it's a fake turn for the worst personally. I think that's what Julian's up to. Uh, Dante and Lulu run through the directions with each other and Valdez and Nicholas fight and uh, Ava's just on the floor screaming and then she gets up and she's just screaming. It does does nothing. I even try to charge Valentin. I mean, I know things were happening pretty fast, but I personally feel she could have done a smidge more. Just a smidge. Uh, so Valentin shoots Nicholas and Nicholas falls out a window. Uh, well, actually, technically, he fall he he like backs up onto a porch type thing and falls over a railing so i guess it's not technically a window but there was a glass pane that seemed to open to the porch anyway um yeah and ava's literally zero help so that happened today nicholas actually did take a tumble outside of a, a window type structure. So I guess he's not a liar after all. We can actually mourn him now. You think when he comes back, he'll be old Nicholas. <laughs> all right. Um, thank you so much for watching today's recap and dealing with my little, uh, you know, kind of off topic things during, during it. I, uh, had a lot to say apparently, and I'm leaning towards us voting for a uh, best plot twist or plot twist of the week uh, because this seems like a week of plot twists especially if they you know dabble some more in there so start keeping that in mind if you think there might be something better you can also leave it in the comments I'm making a list for future weeks so even if it's not this week's thing I, I have I'm gonna have a working list that's gonna be on my office table that I'm gonna get done because I've bought yet another decoration for the office that I have not even started all right um so i will see you tomorrow tomorrow is wednesday so should be perfectly on time shouldn't be a problem uh, so i will see you tomorrow and i hope you have a great day bye